I do research, broadly speaking, in the field of asset pricing. And within asset pricing, it's a subfield called macrofinance, which is on the intersection between macroeconomics and finance. Ten years ago, this field of macrofinance didn't really exist. It's about how financial markets can affect the macroeconomy or what you can read out of prices and what this tells us about the macroeconomy. So when it comes to impact of research and finance on, on society or on markets, academics may detect anomalies in prices or patterns in prices that may not have been exploited so far. Academics may or hopefully be able to provide explanations for empirical facts that are deemed a puzzle. And in my specific field, the research directly feeds into monetary policy. So for example, I work with people at various central banks and academic research is also conducted at these central banks and directly feeds into the decision process of, you know, at the US, the Board of Governors and you know, the, the European Central Bank and so on and so forth. I think what attracted me to Warwick is also what hopefully attracts PhD students to Warwick. Um, especially when it comes to the finance group. We're a relatively young group. We have young senior faculty, we have young junior faculty, ranging from all the way from corporate finance to all the way to asset pricing. Almost everybody in the group is research active, so there's a lot of people to talk to. Um, and there's a clear commitment from the school to excellency in research.